This is Witchbase News for Friday the 15th of October 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week... Last weeks CG brings home the bacon and now it's fleet carrier discount week. After more NMLA attacks Imperial rank is up for grabs. There's a cash reward for visiting a space dredger and with patch 8 scheduled for next week we'll have an update on what new features to expect. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe. Remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you would like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. Last weeks dual center trade based community goal in the Colonia and Alcor systems completed on both sides in near record time. The CG was part 1 of a new project by the Brewer Corporation called the Colonia Bridge and is designed to build a superhighway of dockable megaships between Colonia and the bubble somewhat easing the journey of 22,000 light years between humanity's cradle and its furthest outpost. You'll still need to fly the 22,000 light years yourself. The megaships are at permanent anchorage, but this initial phase will mean there are now around 30 roadside cafes and service stations for you to drop at to fuel up, repair, grab 40 winks, and maybe use the restroom. Sponsors of the bridge, the Brewer Corporation, are best known as the manufacturers of the galaxy's orbital starports and player owned fleet carriers and in celebration of the completion of the mega corporations galaxy spanning community goal they'll be offering a 30% discount on brand new fleet carriers and fleet carrier outfitting from the Alcor system and the Colonia system. It goes without saying that a fleet carrier is an expensive acquisition ordinarily. The 3 km long portable starport with a 500 light year jump range will set you back a cool 5 billion credits and that's even before you've outfitted it with any additional services. The 30% discount will save you ...let me just run the numbers here 2 plus 11 carry the 9 divide by pi ...yeah a metric shed ton of cash. Whilst the purchase of a fleet carrier is about to become somewhat easier but still not easy the outfitting discount is going to be a lot more difficult to take advantage of. In order to outfit new services on a fleet carrier you'll need it to be parked in the star system that houses the carrier administration facilities and star systems have a finite amount of space to fit carriers into. If indeed that ...like the discounted purchase option ...is also restricted to just 2 star systems at opposite ends of the galaxy from each other and lots of people are buying new carriers then they'll both fill up really quickly if indeed they haven't already. However the event lasts for a week so if you struggle to squash your own personal ship hauling cargo capable mega cruiser into the admin system at first then keep at it and hope that space becomes available later on. If you've been looking to gain yourself some imperial rank perhaps with the hope of offloading some of your spare cash into something like an imperial cutter then now may be the week to focus on it. The imperial bashing terrorist hugging interstellar anti-social club the NMLA have this week targeted the headquarters of Adrian Duval's Nova Imperium ...Dyson City Starport in the Parisa system. As of yesterday's server tick it is on fire and spewing red hot globules of recently melted dock worker into space whilst broadcasting loud and proud on local emergency frequencies asking for assistance in the evacuations of the remaining recently singed inhabitants. Whilst completing various missions for the beleaguered starport which are available both at the rescue megaship nearby or from the evacuation contacts inside the station itself you'll be liberally hosed with love from the Imperials raising your standing with them ...making some money and edging you closer in all regards towards the purchase of a brand new shiny cutter. 
If you've never done this stuff before it's worth a go for the experience alone. You don't need anything terribly difficult to obtain in order to participate and it's one of the set pieces in Elite that is done particularly well. I've linked below to a small guide we created on how to participate in this stuff and if you're perhaps looking for a community of like minded souls who focus just on this specific task ...yes such a thing exists ...I've also linked to the post disaster evacuation service discord server in the video description as well. A few months back after a dedicated search a dredger class vessel owned by the reclusive Scrivener clan was discovered making a meal of the long lost megaship the Hesperus in the Perseus Dark region. Shortly after being discovered the attention allergic vessel jumped away and was again lost to prying eyes. A wide search zone was identified but despite the attentions of the community the ship was never found. This week however after a Galnet article narrowed the search parameters by a significant margin and offered a cash reward of 270 million credits for the first 10 commanders to find the elusive vessel the ship was rapidly uncovered again within a matter of hours in fact and we're guessing that the 10 commander limit for the big reward has gone. If that's indeed the case there is still a smaller cash reward of 20 million credits up for grabs just for following the breadcrumbs out to the vessel and if you've not yet seen or indeed experienced the gaping maw of a dredger in action it is worth a look. I've linked to both the start point and the end point of the search below if you fancy ignoring the Scrivener's desire for absolute privacy, rocking up in an Asp Explorer, turning on your lights and staring into their living room window while they're trying to watch the telly. A quick reminder that the much anticipated update 8 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey is currently scheduled to drop next week sometime from the 18th of October onwards. In case you missed our previous update Frontiers teaser video or are just plain forgotten alongside expected fixes, tweaks and optimizations, update 8 is due to deliver a deluge of new features into the expansion. An extra seat is being added to the bridge of selected vessels to enable them to transport a full 4 player team. The vessels benefiting from the welcome upgrade are the Anaconda, Beluga, Cutter, Type 9, Corvette, Type 10 and the Alliance Crusader. The nimble nature and smaller overall footprint suddenly making the Crusader the full 4 player team settlement raid dropship of choice. Elsewhere 3 new on foot engineers are setting up shop in the Colonia region. We don't know yet what specifically those engineers are adding or if indeed it includes anything not available elsewhere but should you need to travel to Colonia quite suddenly I happen to know a new super highway is being installed to help facilitate the journey. Next up one of our personal favourite additions on foot emotes are being added. The initial set available will be salute, point, wave, thumbs up, thumbs down, clap, stop and go. The emotes are also context sensitive so for example pointing at a target will add it to your target tracking or saluting with a player targeted will show you saluting them specifically. Frontier have said that new emotes will be coming in the future and we think it highly likely those will be available in exchange for arcs points though that hasn't been confirmed specifically. Some of the galaxy's megaships will be getting on foot interior social spaces that as best we can tell will contain similar services to those offered at starports and Frontier have hinted at least that the interior spaces can be used in community goals meaning it's likely we'll be seeing on foot portions to community goals possibly in the near future. As part of the patch your purchased Horizons era clothing will also finally be available to use in Odyssey. Also listed as a new feature to update 8 will be new NPC behaviour and features for Odyssey settlements and ground missions. Those revealed so far include hostile agents being sent to hinder your progress presumably at the point of a gun rather than with a polite request. You know how these hostile agent types can be. NPC contacts that can be met at settlements and NPCs that will attempt to flee a settlement in a shuttle presumably if threatened not just a case of random general fleeing. 
One final quite significant nugget this week. Community manager Arthur made casual mention on Tuesdays livestream that he'd be filming video for a new asset this week and that he'd be using the recently announced two seater combat centric SRV to do it. Whilst we've no reason to believe it's coming with update 8 if they're filming it for a PR piece then it's a reasonable bet that its release into the game won't be far behind. That's the first new ground vehicle launched into the game since the venerable SRV first made its appearance. New SRV. Deep breaths everyone. Deep breaths. That coupled with everything else expected in update 8 ...it's all about to get very exciting. Are you buying a fleet carrier? Have you assembled your 4 man team to take advantage of the new multi crew seat and are you going to emote their faces off in a new mega ship social space? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.